Okay, this is number 13. This is, we're going to try to find the cosine of 11 pi over 12. Okay, so the cosine of 11 pi over 12, we're going to use those two angles again. So cosine of 3 pi over 4 plus pi over 6. So that would be the formula is the cosine of uh, an angle plus an angle is cosine of 3 pi over 4 cosine pi over 6 minus sine 3 pi over 4 uh, sine of pi over 6. Okay, and then what we can do again is just look these up on our sheet. Okay, cosine of 3 pi over 4 on my sheet is negative square root of 2 over 2. The cosine of pi over 6 is square root of 3 over 2 minus the sine of 3 pi over 4, which is square root of 2 over 2, and the sine of pi over 6, which is 1 half. Okay, multiply these fractions, you get negative square root of 6 over 4 minus the square root of 2 over 4 for an answer of negative square root of 6 minus the square root of 2 all over 4. This is what cosine equals. Um, the next video, uh, why don't we go ahead and put it right on here. So this is sine and cosine. Um, the answer in the back, I just looked at the answer in the back of the book. It's going to, it looks a little different than this, but it is, the, you can leave your answer like this. Okay, what the back of the book does is it factors out square root of 2 over 4, which gives you on top a square root of 3 uh, minus 1. So this is what the back of the book has. Either answer is correct. Okay, so now what we need to do is use these two answers to find tangent. Because tangent of 11 pi over 12 should equal, and if we remember this from uh, chapter 5, should equal sine of 11 pi over 12 divided by cosine of 11 pi over 12. But we just found sine, okay, we just found sine to be... Um, six square root of six minus the square root of two all over four, and we just found cosine to be negative square root of six minus the square root of two again all over four. So we have a fraction divided by a fraction that's the same as a fraction times the reciprocal of the other fraction. So I can bring uh, or another term. Some of you may like this. It's called bottoms up. I'm going to bring the bottom up to the top. And, I'm going to and then I'm going to multiply. And when I do that, this cancels here. Uh, but you may notice the fours cancel. Now I can't cancel these two because they have one sign difference. I have a negative six out front. So what I need to do is rationalize this. Okay, and this is uh, going to take a little bit of work. So hopefully you can stick with me. Square root of 6 minus the square root of 2 over negative square root of 6 minus the square root of 2. Uh, when you have two square roots, uh, you multiply by what's, by what's called the reciprocate. Okay, um, I think it's called the reciprocate, and it's called the conjugating or something, I don't know. But anyways, what I'm going to do is multiply both the top and the bottom by, this, but by the denominator, but I'm going to switch the middle sign. So instead of square root of 6 minus the square root of 2, it's going to be square root of 6 plus the square root of 2. Negative square root of 6 plus the square root of 2. So then on bottom, on the bottom, I, all I have to do is square the first term, which is 6, square the second term, which is negative 2, and I'm going to get 4. Okay, on top, it's a little bit trickier. Uh, I'm going to get negative 6. I'm foiling here. Uh, you know what? Hopefully you got this far. I'm running out of room. I'm going to put the rest of this in the next video.